Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Today I'm going to be putting together this cityscape penjing. It should be a lot of fun. My traditional Chinese buildings for this penjing came in the mail yesterday, so I was really happy to see them and I'm really pleased with them. So let's get out the pot and begin putting the soil in. Here's a look at the pot that I've chosen for the project. A nice big rectangular pot. Now I'm going to look at the front and the back of the pot and see if there's a better side to it. So this side, it dishes in a bit. So what is this side? Um, I think this side's better. This side comes up a little more in the corner here. This side's a little flatter across the front. So I think this will be the front of the pot. This pot is not a high quality pot. The walls are really thick, like this thick. The holes in the middle are really large. I don't know why they're that large. I would rather a few more smaller holes. So let's uh, get some drainage screens in here and I'll get my base layer of soil in the pot. All right, I'll begin to add the soil now. Covering up my drainage screens here. This one also. The soil won't run out of these wire, wire holes. They're too small, so. You know, I might get a little bit at first, but. So I, I just want to put a base layer kind of for the houses to sit on top of. Kind of bring it up just below the lip of the pot. It'll take a lot of soil, this pot. It's quite a large surface area. You never know how it's going to turn out these penjing landscape dioramas. Uh, yeah, and that's the fun of it is you, <laughs> you don't know if it'll look good in the end or if it doesn't look good, but there's only one way to find out and that's by doing it. Here is my blank canvas and now I'm going to position the buildings. So this is my larger one and that was going to go about in the middle of the pot and not too close to the edge. So maybe somewhere around there. And then my smaller building was going to go back further and again, it can go right to the back of the pot, but I, again, don't want it too close to the edge. I want an alleyway between here, maybe somewhere there. I'll have a look at that. I'm looking at the front now and I don't like it. It's too evenly spaced. My space between the edge of the pot here and the building is even to the space between the two buildings and it's even to the edge over here. So everything's just looks too too evenly spaced. So I'm going to move the smaller building here in towards the larger one. So th that's looking better. I think just that little move brought the whole composition into a bit of asymmetry. I'm looking at it now thinking about elevation changes and don't know, I think because the buildings are on that, you know, solid stone kind of foundation, I, I think it would look funny if they're at two different levels. Because the scale of the buildings isn't that far off, um, if it was a building way in the distance, yeah, you could get away with kind of a hillside or something. But I think being this close together, I don't think you'd see that kind of an elevation change in a city unless, you know, you whole step the whole planting. But then you get you got problems with, you know, making that transition from a higher elevation to the edge of the pot. And I think I think it's going to be level ground in this one. I think, you know, elevation change, I don't think it would accomplish much. And I just think it's going to add all kinds of problems. If I did change the elevation, it would be the main building would go up a little higher. So everything's kind of tapering off from that. Here's a look at the buildings with the larger building elevated. And I don't really like it. The planting starts to look too high. You know, it's a very shallow pot. And if I mound it up, it just starts looking high and heavier. I don't think there's any benefit to raising one building over another. I think I liked it better, just a flat landscape. I'm back to level ground and I think that's looking much better. And my next question, uh, these buildings were originally sold as planters. So there's a space in the roof to plant a plant up there. So I'm wondering, do I want to put a tree in the roof of these buildings? If I do, I've got to go with that kind of ruins feeling where the 
trees and the nature is taking over these old buildings. So, um, otherwise, you know, I have that space in the roof that I've got to fill with something. I've either got to build my own roof up there or uh, cover it up with something. Uh, so, I'm thinking, I do, I, I, I'm thinking, I'm envisioning, you know, maybe planting a tree halfway across this wall here up front. Kind of, you know, sort of these nature engulfing uh, these buildings. So, yeah. So I, I think I will. I think I will plant trees in the top of these buildings. And that'll look like, you know, a ficus tree seeded itself on the roof and then just started growing and will eventually swallow the whole building up. One of the major drawbacks about planting a tree on top of the building is that the trees will grow and like a root over rock kind of planting. Sometimes, you know, you have this rock and the tree starts off in nice proportions with the rock, but as the tree grows, it becomes larger and larger. And sometimes the roots engulf the rock completely so you can't see it. So it's quite easy for a root over rock to lose that, that balance between the rock versus the tree. Sometimes a tree outgrows the rock because the rock doesn't grow. So. The same thing could happen here. I could plant this little ficus on this building and 10 years from now, it could become this giant ficus that just doesn't look in proportion with the building. So that's a big danger. And it's something I have to consider if I want to go that route uh, or do I want the building so you can remove them, you know, water the trees or root prune the trees and then put the buildings back in place. So. If I plant it in the roof of the building here, that's not going to affect it. I mean, I can always take the tree out, replace it with another tree. It would only be if the roots start growing out, you know, aerial roots start growing out over the building, which would look cool at first, but again, it may thicken up. So I think I will plant trees in the buildings for now, and I can always change it in the future if it's not working out or if I don't like it. My next question is how large a tree do I want growing in this kind of area here. Do I want a really low tree that kind of blends in with the height of the building or do I want a tall one like a tree's grown up really strong? I'm thinking more of a lower one. I, I don't want this planting to get too high. I think, you know, the higher the planting is, the more out of scale it'll look. So I'm thinking if I find really small trees and then grow them kind of spreading so the canopy kind of hugs the top of the building. So it almost looks like a bush rather than a tree. Because generally, if a tree were to germinate on a roof here, it doesn't have a lot of nutrients in that. So the growth would be really slow. It wouldn't, you know, grow vigorously into a giant tree. It would remain more bush-like. So that's my thinking anyway. So I've got to find some of my smaller, more compact trees. Here's my selection of trees. And I do have this one, which is quite low and spreading. So that's a good one. And then what's another one? I guess this one back here is a smaller one that could go on the rear building. All the rest are kind of taller and more slender trees. These two trees are cutting, so I'm not sure how deeply they're planted in the pot. There may be more trunk on them than is visible here, but that's something I'll see when I, you know, pull them out of the pots and start the root pruning. So let's do that now. All right, I'll get the trees out of the pot now. I'll start with the larger one. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to happen. It just sprays soil everywhere, but it is out of the pot. So time to get number two out of the pot now, the smaller one. See, that one came out right. And pop and spray the room with soil, but Okay, so now I'll begin raking out the roots. And we'll see what we have here. I'm not sure how old these cuttings are. They were rooted by Mike from the Toronto Bonsai Society. So thanks, Mike. Yeah, they're fantastic. So there's lots of roots here. And typically with a cutting that's planted deep in the soil, you get roots coming out at all, the, all kinds of different levels off of the, off the cutting. So we may have to establish our root plane and prune everything above and below that plane to kind of get more of a flat radial type root base. 
Well, one good thing is the cutting gets quite dramatically thicker as we go down in the soil level, which is good. It's uh, I can see a nice root base uh, emerging here. I will prune. There's there's a root really high here that's just no good. I'm going to prune that off. Like that. Get rid of that. Another little one up here I can get rid of too. Just to clean it up a little. And then there's another one up here. Okay, so that's good. I, I think this tree is looking really good. I can see reducing the top down. Uh, maybe this being the new leader here, removing the whole whole top of the tree here. I'd make a short, short little cutting, short little tree for the planting. Okay, I'm going to start on the bottom of the cutting now. So these cuttings were grown in a really good soil. Um, has lots of drainage and it's a good particle size to create root growth, nice fine root growth. So yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased with the root system on it. Now you can see I have one large root developing here that needs to be pruned off. And from the top, you can see it's pretty well the only really large root on the cutting. So that needs to be removed or pruned back. Like that. Uh, I gotta reduce it more. It kind of curls in a funny direction. I was hoping to save that root, but no, it's gotta come off further. More like about there. That's much better. Okay, that, that one is nicely root pruned. I'm gonna start on the smaller one. Before I begin on the next cutting, I'll just miss the roots of this one. Make sure they don't dry out. That should do it. And I'll just set it down here in the shade. And I can start on cutting number two here. Start combing out the surface. Yeah, it looks like this soil is a mix of potting soil and perlite, heavy on the perlite, which is really good. Perlite's amazing for you know, rooting plants. It's amazing in your bonsai soil. Looks like there's some uh, fertilizer granules in here too. So this cutting is quite a bit smaller. And if I were going to reduce this one down, I'd either have to go right down to this branch or you know, prune these off quite a bit shorter to keep the whole tree a little more compact. But that's something I'll see when I go to plant them, what height looks about right. Yeah, it's a really nice cutting. Really uh, pleased that I don't have these weird, bizarre root systems developing. I think we got them when they're young enough that we can get a, get a good root system underway. All right, I'll clean this up and then we'll come in and prune the roots. So there's a large one coming out the bottom. I'll take that right off. There. There's some really long ones. I'll just prune those back to kind of equalize the vigor. A few more ones, a few more roots going straight out the bottom. We'll get rid of. So that's looking much better for that one. And then my larger one, I do have another root that's kind of getting large out the side and curling around. So I'll take that off. I'll reduce it back like that. The rest are quite good. There's one that's kind of upturned here. I'll take that off. Don't want any roots curling up out of the soil, kind of. The rest I think are okay. I might take that one thick one back even further. I think it's going to be a problem in the future. 
it'll gain too much vigor. And then I'll just do a general prune up. Get the long ones off. Any coming straight down from the bottom will be removed. Getting my kind of flat radial root system. Another one here I could take back a bit. Okay, that's got the roots pruned up. They're ready for planting. I'm going to plant the trees now and I don't really need a drainage screen in that hole in the bottom of the house because, you know, it'll be soil just going into soil. But I'm going to put a drainage screen. It might discourage roots from going through the drainage hole and into the base layer of soil in the pot. So it's something I'll have to watch for. All right, in goes screen number one here. And then over here, I'll put screen number two. Now I'll fill it with a base layer of soil. I'll fill it about two thirds full, plant the tree and then fill it back in the other third. That looks about good there. Now the larger one. All right, here goes tree number one and I've got to pick a front for the tree. Um, yeah. I'm thinking somewhere about here. That way it's got, you know, some branches each side. It's got a back branch. Maybe like that. I'll, I'll have a look from the front. Hmm. No, I, I didn't like that front much. It's not the worst in the world, but... It looks too flat on from the front. Those two branches, there's left and right one and... Has no depth. Um, I think it is going to have to be like this. Yeah. And then I'll make this the apex. I think like that. I think that looks good. Okay, so I'll get the roots. I may have to do a little more root pruning just to get them to fit in there nicely. There's one kind of Sticking over the edge here. All right, so I think I have the tree positioned nicely. I'm going to start filling it in with soil. And I'll work it in around the roots. The roots are positioned nicely. Hopefully it's looking good. You guys are seeing it before I am. I've got a spoon now so I can Really carefully get my soil in here. That's feeling good and firm in the pot now. I'll give that some water. Just kind of settle the soil in around the roots. And then I'll add a little more soil just to top it up. Okay, now I'll come back and see how it looks. There's a look at the tree planted in the building now. I think it's looking quite good. Um, I do want to reduce the height a bit more. Uh, I've got a good leader kind of coming forward here so I can take that thicker part at the back off. I think I need to prune those other branches back a little too. The trees are really vigorous. All the new growth that came in is not small, uh, weak looking growth. It's really vigorous with long internodes. So there's a lot of vigor in the trees, probably way too much for what I want. But so I can safely knock them back once again and they'll they'll grow fine. They're not, they're not weak trees by any means. So yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll prune up that main tree now. All right, here I go. I'm going to come in somehow, maybe sideways like this. Let's be careful not to knock the tree over. I'm gonna take this leader off. So here I go, like that. A nice cutting, by the way. I'll save that. So that reduces the height, and now I'll want to reduce the height of the leader here. So I think back to here. Like that. And I'm going to reduce the height of this one down further. 
to there. And then these branches, the length isn't bad, but they're very straight, so I don't know where to prune it. There's not a really good leaf back here facing a good direction, so I'm going to try right here, like that. And then the branch off to the side here needs to come back quite a bit. Maybe to here, like that. And then this one coming up here is too long. I'll take it back to here, like that. Here's a view looking from the distance now. I, I think that looks much better. The trees are better scale to the buildings. Uh, I'm going to plant the second tree now in the smaller building and we'll come back and see how that looks. I have two of the trees planted out of the 10 trees that I initially got, so eight more to go. It'll be quite exciting laying out the rest of the trees. I kind of like the idea of, you know, trees planted around the buildings. I think it's going to look good. And maybe some behind the main building, the largest building, so it looks like a nice backdrop to the planting. I'm going to start laying out the rest of the trees now, and I think I want some behind the main building, kind of a backdrop of green behind it. I want some, you know, placed around the buildings. I'm going to keep this area over here kind of open so you can view the second building and there'll be like a, a, a mossy area there or pathways or something. All right, so I'll start laying out the rest of the trees. In order to get forced perspective in the planting, I'm going to plant my larger, thicker trees up front, and then the ones with the slimmer trunks will go towards the rear to kind of imply that they're in the distance. So I've arranged the trees in order from the thicker trunk ones to the slimmer trunk ones. Up front I have three trees that have kind of a similar size trunk, the thickest ones. Then there's two kind of medium size, and then there's three slimmer trees towards the back. So that's kind of how I'll arrange them in the planting. All right, I've got there's a tall straight tree there. There's a multi-trunk tree that might look good kind of coming out from the side of the house. I don't know. Somewhere. Uh, and then I've got another thicker trunk tree here that could go maybe somewhere over here. Then my medium size ones have to go kind of in the middle ground somewhere. So maybe off to the side possibly. And then the smaller trees towards the back. I'll just have to play around with the positions of the trees. I want them to look natural against the building. So, you know, maybe growing up beside a building and it, it's got to kind of fit in with the architecture. So yeah, I'll start playing around with them and maybe start planting some too. I do like this tall straight one to kind of grow up against this wall here. I think that would that would look quite good. So I'm going to put that one there maybe. I'm thinking something like this kind of an arrangement. I've got the trees in front of the larger house kind of shading, you know, the courtyard there, kind of overhanging the house a bit. I think that looks nice. Maybe not quite such an extreme angle on the one here, but uh, something like that. Um, I don't want anything overhanging the edges of the pot. I want everything kind of contained within the framework of the pot. So, yeah, and, and also on this side, I've got trees kind of leaning over that open space there to kind of give some shade. I've got that vertical one I'll plant beside the wall. All right, so I'm going to, I'm going to try this concept. I'm going to plant them like this and see how it looks. I may do some, you know, rearranging in the future and I may be adding more trees and there'll be a lot of changes to this planting over the years I'm sure. I'm going to root prune on the empty space on the bench over there so I'll get a nice radial root system and start planting the trees one by one. I've root pruned the third tree so now it's ready for planting in this corner. I think that looks good. 
I'll just water it so it stays in place. I'm ready to plant tree number four now. I'll plant it there. I can always change it in the future. I'm going to plant that tall vertical one beside that kind of plain wall of the house, the side wall. And I'll, I'll plant it as close to the wall as I can get it. And it should look quite nice. There's a view of the wall of the house, so the tree will go in somewhere around here. There it is growing up beside the house, and I, I think it looks good there. It's a nice, nice place to put that kind of straight tree. I'm ready to plant tree number six now, and that'll go in the corner here. I've got tree number six planted now in the corner over there, so I'll do the one directly behind it now. I was looking at the tree in the back corner, and it's kind of a, a slanting tree. Um, and I think in the middle here, I've got, you know, the tree slanting towards the house, a vertical one. I think I need one spreading out this way. So I'm thinking maybe instead of putting that tree back in the corner, I could plant it in the other corner of the house, kind of fanning out the other way. I'm going to try that. I think that works having it back there. Now I am going to have to prune the height of it down. It looks way too tall. I've got to make the trees in the back shorter, more compact and uh, to look like they're in the distance. So I'll prune it down and I'll try planting it there and see how it looks. There's a look at the tree back there. I, I like it. I like the trees kind of in between the buildings. I could see maybe a pathway going through there. It would look really good. There's a shot of the triple tree arrangement in the middle between the two buildings. So instead of moving this one, the one out front, I just put it on more of a, uh, a slant. So it's slanting towards the building more and it kind of opens it up so there's a bit of a fan shape arrangement in the middle. Now I do feel like I need one more little tree over on this side, just so it's not so straight in a line there. I thought I'd have way too many trees for this planting. And now I'm thinking I have too few, so I better start rooting more cuttings. There's a look at that small tree planted there now. I think that looks good. I, I think it it also kind of covers up that back house a bit, so it it makes the house look more in the distance, I think, to have something in front of it. So, you know, both houses are kind of surrounded by trees now, and I, I think that looks really nice. It looks peaceful and cool and I, I think it also looks very natural. I think the way the trees are arranged, I think it it looks like something you'd see in a, a real kind of city. I was looking at the planting and I think there's kind of an empty space over in this left hand back corner. So maybe instead of planting it directly behind the house, I'll put it in that corner. It, it just needs something back there to give a bit of depth. I'm standing back now having a look at the whole composition. Um, I think that one slanting tree out front, it's interfering with the tree beside it, so I think it needs a bit of pruning. I, I'm not sure it needs that one branch, that straight branch shooting out there. I kind of like that back house kind of tucked in. You know, it looks like it's in the forest back in the trees there. And the front one, it also looks like it's kind of, you know, in a very treed in area. Yeah, I, I think I'll, I'll try a bit of pruning on the trees and then see how it all looks. I'll prune this one off short here. See what develops. Kind of a Hail Mary cut like that. I finished the work for today. Let's go in and have a look. So there's the buildings. So tomorrow I'm going to be adding the pathways, moss, a lot of little details. So I think that'll be really fun. So 
So I'm quite happy with the the final planting. I think it's just going to get better in the future as everything grows and gets more branching. I think this planting will look quite different when we look at it next winter after a summer of growing. I think it'll be yeah, it should look pretty good, I think. Hopefully. My cityscape panjing made good progress today. I got the buildings laid out, all the trees planted, and tomorrow I'll be doing all the detail work. And that's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone.